So in Scheme, you have one unified namespace for everything, also it, as it turned out later for the macro system. But the foundational thing that happened for Scheme, I mean, Scheme was mainly developed originally by Jerry Sussman and Guy Steele. I forget. So, so there was a series of papers that I think, I think Guy Steele was always involved as a co-author called, today called Lambda, the ultimate papers. And, uh, and Guy Steele discovered what today is known as the concept of tail recursion or, or tail calls, right? That you would, that you could uh, transfer control from one place to another by just doing a function call. And this was new at the time, or, or this was a fundamental idea at the time, because sure, you could always use a function call to jump from one place to another, but this would cost you because that function call would use up a little bit of space on your stack or on your, whatever, your continuation store or something like that. And this meant that you could only do so many of them because stacks were and are to this day limited in size. And so the foundational idea of scheme was, so, so, so what Guy discovered is, well, if we could just fix that, right? So that for, for the calls that don't require it, they don't allocate space. And this way you can do infinitely many of them. Uh, this really was the key to making function calls the fundamental, not just the, the fundamental control structure and functional programming, right? Previously, you needed to have separate constructs for things like loops. You, you know, lists have generally specialized, specialized loop constructs and you need them because you just, the, you know, that recursive way of writing function only works if uh, it only works in practice if it doesn't crash, if it doesn't crash because of a stack overflow.